from the celebrity capital of the world, it's Hollywood Squares, starring Charo, Steve Sharippa, Mama, Lonnie Love, Tom Deloise, Judy Go, Randy Jackson, Christina Saralegi, and our center square, Martin Mull. We got the best and most greatest and most acclaimed and our whole host is Hollywood Square. And your host, Tom Bergeron. Thank you, John Machino. Welcome to a new week of our Tic-Tac-Toe Fest on Hollywood Squares. Would you kindly give it up for Martin and the gang one more time? Good feeling. We'd, uh, we'd like to welcome back our returning champion with $32,459, Rex McGrath. Good to see you again, Rex. And in the circle position, your challenger, Babs Holiday. Welcome back, Babs. Good to see you, too. Now, now you know, it's just basic tic-tac-toe. You decide, though, if the answers you're getting are correct or the stars are just making them up. That's how you get the squares. Last time we saw you two, we were in the first game uh, of our best two out of three match. The board looked like this. And, Rex, if memory served, if you defend your championship successfully this time, you'll be playing for, as they say in game show lingo, a brand new car! <laughs> All right, Rex, your good, turn. Uh, I'd like to go with Lonnie Love for the win, please. Lonnie Love for the win. Catch her on Comedy Central's Premium Blend. Check your local listing. Welcome back, Lonnie. Hey. You are lost in the woods wearing nothing but leather boots. Would eating your boots do any good? If you wear nothing but leather boots, somebody will come along and buy you dinner. <laughs> <laughs> no. For the win. I disagree. Yes, animal leather has enough nutritional value to sustain life for a short time. X gets the square and a thousand dollars. All right, this next thousand dollar game has a secret square, but it won't be a secret to you. Let's find out what's in the secret square stash first, John. Start spreading the news. It's a Broadway getaway. You and a guest will spend four nights at Le Parker Meridian, featuring breathtaking views of Central Park and the New York skyline. Le Parker Meridian, uptown, not uptight. Plus, enjoy Broadway's new hit musical, The Boy From Oz, starring Hugh Jackman. And you'll fly JetBlue Airways. It's not the only way to fly, but it should be. Just, uh, before we show you who the secret square is, I thought that was your motto, Martin. Uptown, but not uptight. It used to be, yeah. Okay, not, yeah. not anymore. Here, here's who the secret square is, folks. All right, now you know. Rex, you won the first game. You get to start this one. If you win this one, you play for the car. I'd like to go Judy Gold, please. Judy Gold, a regular on Comedy Central's Puck Crowd with Colin Quinn. Judy, uh, yes. Reader's Digest says that 85% of people who visit supermarkets do not observe this rule of supermarket shopping. What rule? That would be actually paying for the magazine you just finished reading. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's try this one. Uh, squeezing all the fruit, depending on where you live. <laughs> I, I know this, and every, it annoys everyone. It's that, you know, 10 items or less rule. Okay. I disagree. Yeah, they don't uh, respect the express lane uh, item oh. limits, the 10 items or, or less. That's right. So Circle gets that one. Babs, break for you. Okay, I'm going to take Randy Jackson. Randy please. Jackson from American Idol. Is from What's up, Doug? How to become a superstar in the music business in stores now. Randy, when singer Jermaine Jackson left his band of brothers in the mid-1970s, who replaced him? Uh, they wanted me, but I just wasn't available. I was doing <laughs> Idol, you know what I'm saying? But it was before Idol, but... I know this, this, this is definitely Tito. I agree. Randy Jackson. Oh. <laughs> ah. It was? That's called bluffing, boys and girls. <laughs> That's how they do it. All right, Rex. Martin Mull, please. Oh. Right, Martin Mull. Oh. Wow. I don't have an acceptance speech or anything. Well, let me get the special secret square question here. Okay. A, little, a little picture help. Uh, Oscar hosts Billy Crystal with Oscar nominee David Paymer in his nominated role. Is it from Mr. Saturday Night, Memories of Me, or Deconstructing Harry? Deconstructing Harry. 
I'll agree. No, Mr. Saturday Night Circle gets the square there. Uh, Babs, break for you. I'm going to take Lonnie Love for the win, for please. For a tie game, if you get it. All right. Lonnie, in England's royal court, what did Jimmy Carter once do that made the Queen Mum protest, nobody has done that since my husband died? He hugged her. I agree. No, he kissed her on the lips. Whoa. He kissed her on the lips. Uh, X gets a square there. Rex, plot your next move. We'll find out where Rex is going right after this. Stick around. Promotional consideration furnished by the following.